Greetings from the beach on Holy Island. A few weeks ago, I arrived at the cathedral only to realise I'd lost my keys. I retraced my steps carefully, looking for any signs of them, nothing. Feeling rather downhearted, I made my way back to the cathedral. And I suddenly remembered I had something called an air tag. It's an electronic gadget that was a Christmas present in case I lost my keys. I assumed that it must have an app, so I looked half-heartedly on the f- my phone and sure enough there was an app, which, when I opened it, told me that my keys were near Shire Hall. Now I knew this was somewhere near the police station, so I crossed my fingers, jumped on my bike and pedalled off to where my phone was telling me m- that my keys were. I was delighted to be reunited with them and enormously grateful that somebody had taken the time to hand them in. This random act of kindness made me think about how we treat each other. I felt humbled that someone had taken the time to hand my keys in and I wondered how I could become better at being kind. It's something that I think about a lot, but becoming more aware so that you become better at something seems like a good thing to practice. I began to reflect on other random acts of kindness throughout my life by people who had done or said something especially kind through my childhood, then when my own children were small, when I was first married and had very little. As I've grown older, people's random acts of kindness are like finding a rainbow on a rainy day. I wondered about things that I have done and how they might have affected other people's lives. A moment of kindness is so powerful, so perhaps it's an opportunity for me to think more consciously of the kindness that I give and the kindness that I receive, because a world without kindness would surely be a very sad place. Perhaps you could challenge yourself to do a daily act of kindness, because kindness in the world is never wasted. As Christians, we're encouraged to practice those same things which Christ would have done to know how to give kindness but also how to receive because in receiving kindness you're enabling someone else to be Christ-like and to the person who handed my keys in the most enormous thank you.